What's up guys? So in today's video, we are going to be installing a 3-3 Fabrications and Total Chaos Alignment Cam Tab Gussets and Bolts full fucking replacement on everything on there. Like, my alignment's gonna be straight. These tires aren't getting shot any longer. This is right here. This is gonna be it. So let's get into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. My intro is pretty tits. I know, I know. Guy's name is Max Snyder. Go look him up if you want to do some stuff and you're in New York. He's uh, insane. His setup is crazy. But back to the, the big picture, this. So if you're not familiar, this I'll show you where it's going because I have a old kit on there that got trashed. And I don't want to talk about what got welded on it with. It was basically, long story short, freaking uh, gas feed wire on an electric welder. So that did not turn out very good. But it's coming off, and so are these bolts. The whole, the whole bitch, front and rear. So basically, I have to remove all that. So what I'm going to do is disconnect this lower shock, take the wheel off, disconnect the lower control arm. Then I should be able to pop the control arm out of the frame portion itself. And then I can take the grinder and hammer, pound off all this old nasty shit, clean up the metal, get the old bolts out, obviously. And then we'll get ready to slide in the new ones and weld on the new tabs. The instructions are literally online right here with these two links. So I'm probably going to look them up quick just to make sure I don't fuck nothing up. Well, it only wanted to look good for the thumbnail, I guess. <laughs> Got these cool little slide pins, so that'll be helpful for all of this. But yeah, I think I'm going to obviously start with these and then make my way to these big girls here which will go on these it's a pretty interesting setup i'll show you a little bit more after i get this stripped down but to be honest that's going to be my priority first i'm doing it one side at a time because i kind of want to go somewhere tonight so i'm gonna just do this side tonight that's all this video will probably be and it'll probably still be lengthy as a motherfucker but <laughs> we're gonna get it done son yeah just like your mom mm. all right so I'm going to throw you on this here tripod, and you're going to sit here and watch me take the wheel off and do everything I just told you, basically. Unless I get mad and stop, but I'm determined, motivated, and I'm about to be cruising. Like this guy over here on his goddamn lawnmower, just like him. He likes to blow all of the clippings right into my yard only. It's so funny. He will literally do like six passes right here and leave a line right here of just clippings just in my yard that just kills my grass and i'm pretty sure he does it on purpose because he's petty like that but i'm not 100 percent sure like i don't really know the guy won't even talk to me so i'm not sure but uh yeah i just think it's really funny but anyways back to the project at hand So I kind of pounded off what I could. I got out the bolts. I kind of just have the five piece kit left on there, which is really just this piece, a piece on the back side. I hit the front one off and um, same thing right there, you see. So I thought I'd uh, be able to pound it off since I welded it with freaking, you know, like I said, uh, gas wire and an electric feed welder. Mmm, look how nice these upper control arms are though. Damn, son. Can you tell I spent fucking bread on these? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I, uh, surprisingly, it's pretty solid, so I'm gonna have to grab the grinder, cut them off, but then I'll hit it all with a floppy wheel, you know, make it look all clean and nice, and then it's time to install the new shit, so let's get to it. You guys remember when I was telling you that he likes to just mow this little fucking line of clippings in my yard for no damn reason, because, like, the property line's, like, there, but in my yard, here he is just... Like, for no damn reason. Just, but I was right. He did, in fact, do it. So, just wanted to show you guys because it pisses me off. But anyways, back to the project. So, I've done some off-camera work because taking off the old kit I had as being a bit of a motherfucker. 
but I am uh, onto the new kit. No, I'm not. I lied. This is half the old kit. I have like half it off. I gotta tear the other half off still. I haven't really been putting it on the camera because I'm just beating it and grinding it, but and I'm out of cutting wheels. But I got that half right there left to do, and the front half is just about ready. I'm gonna get this other portion of it off right there, you see, and then I'm gonna hit it all with a nice floppy disk, and then it'll be mint. So let's get to it. Well, guys, this is what uh, this is what ate up the last few hours of my night was tearing apart the old stock shit that was well it's not stock it was marlin crawler but i bent the shit out of it the old trash kit is finally out so i set these up this is how these go it's pretty nice not gonna lie that's kind of how these go i haven't really gotten into those yet because i'm focused on these so each of these it comes in a bag of these little uh tabs correct and you will stick them on like this real nice and then basically you're gonna weld them but don't weld the insides because that's where obviously the plates are gonna sit you know these will sit in between here like so so if you put a dime right there you're fucked so don't do that put it on the outside wrap it around the outside type thing you see okay so that is the next project between that and using the floppy disk to hit that shit over here i got to hit all of it and now that it's finally stripped down it's pretty nasty and i gotta get the old tabs off so i'm gonna just hit it all get it nice and smooth and i'm gonna cruise through these and i'm gonna fucking weld these up nice and then once i get these welded up nice i hear a cat once i get these welded up nice and that's cleaned up i guess you know i'm gonna go and look and make sure i have these set up correctly i'll get two of these ready to go and then i'll take them over to this and then obviously you know we'll weld on our two plates for the front two plates for the back and we will slide our bolt in and then reassemble it all and get this thing put back together i don't know how i'm doing on time i think it's like nine o'clock eight thirty or something like that trying to be done by like 10 30 11 but i don't know i mean a i'm gonna have to crank these dimes fast like i said that was the hardest part and that took forever i mean this should go quick this will be real quick you know welding and cleaning that up will be easy the hardest part will be getting those fit on here perfectly so that everything lines up right and then once obviously that's done then the hardest part will be getting the damn you know lower control arm back up in there look at this guy meow 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 Demon dog. Meow meow. It's the next day. So you can see how good this looks with the floppy disk. I know you should take these off. You're supposed to. I might. I might not. Blow me. Okay? I might just glob it all and weld it and make it straight and perfect myself. But I don't know. I, I mean, they use air hammers, man, and they freaking pound these little old tabs right off. But I floppy disked it enough that I think it's kind of flat enough that I shouldn't have to worry. This guy just wants to get in the fucking way all the time. Look at him. He just wants some damn attention. Like, I'm not holding, like, food or anything behind the camera. This is just him, like, following me. Isn't it, Chris? Yeah. Look at him. I can go right here and watch. I bet you his ass will... Yeah, look. <laughs> you motherfucker. He's so funny. I love him, though. But anyways... I had gas wire, I know, remember that. So I just got fresh wire. Just set the welder up. Just set this up. So we are gonna see if it uh, properly welds now. You can see the popcorn effect from last night. Awkward. Awkward. I ended up just calling it a night. I didn't go anywhere. Fuck that shit. <sighs> Fuck the haters. So yeah, let's get to welding. Nice tasty start to the uh, morning here as we uh, get her done. <laughs> but anyways, so 
I've got the front kind of on here, how it's going to go. I finished welding together all of my Total Chaos tabs. And I hit them with the floppy wheel, man, look nice. So this is the uh, this is the one for the back right here. It's kind of how it goes. So as you see, it's the bolt, you know, washer. Then it's your plate, obviously, then the tab. And then, you know, in between that will be your bushing and your lower control arm. And that's all it sits up in there. You get the picture. That's a, It is right here, you know, so you can see. Don't mind the shitty welds. Ignore it. I'm about to weld it on. But right now, I just kind of am getting it positioned exactly where I want it. I'm going to, I think, clamp it with the bolt and everything on like this and then tack it just to make sure things don't get pulled out of whack. And then once I tack the front and the back, then maybe I'll take the bolt out and beat it all. Or maybe I'll just do it with the bolt on there and try and be careful. I don't know. Because I've had issues before with the other kit where it, it pulls uh, these this way, whatever, and whatnot. And you, you want it to kind of stay straight and how it is so these fit back up in there properly. And, you know, this is all straight. But, I mean, I cleaned up the surface, so it's all ready for welding. So I'm pretty much just going to get my clamps, get my setup all set up out here. Maybe go get a snack because I'm fucking hungry. And uh, then, yeah, we're going to hammer down. We're going to get the front and the back here done, finally. We're going to tack them up. We'll get the, the bolts out. And then once I finish beating it all real nice, you know, I'll go through again and probably floppy disc it just to make it look pretty. And then I'll hit it with, like, four or five coats of paint. <laughs> Rattle can it black to cover it and protect it. Then I'll probably go snack again. And, uh, hey, man, he was staring at me. He made a funny face. That was really funny. I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, you know, then after the paint dries, we can reassemble it, put it back together, and we'll be done, but I am definitely liking how that looks already, it's a lot less, it's just simpler and cleaner, I mean, look at this side compared to, that's right, don't mind the welds, ha <laughs> ha that'll get you. Well, guys, there it is. Front and rear. The plates are on. Gobbly wobbled. Don't care what you think, haters. Floppy disc so they look half better. Half decent, you know, whatever. And now I'm going to grab the paint, throw some paint on these shits, let that dry, and then once the paint's dry, we'll put this all back together. I also discovered a ripped CV boot on the head axle, so that's cool, too. But yeah, let's get this paint done. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Basically brand new. Can't even tell. <laughs> uh, nice. Good enough. I just want to lay down. I'm so tired. But I'm glad this is finally done. So we're just going to let this paint dry for a little bit. When the paint's done drying, like I said, put it back together. I'm kind of hungry. Probably going to go munch on some food. Let this you know, really dry. I don't really want to cover myself in paint. And I kind of want to let this cure and dry decently. Nice, you know? Because, like, I did the other side, and, like, it actually stays pretty decently covered. Same with the bumper. I mean, the bumper's black. I painted the bumper black, and the bumper's still black. The bumper's getting smacked through some shit, too, and it, it's holding up. really want to make a new one, though. It's pretty ugly. But until I have the money, too, and the time, I cannot... Right now I need to do this. I need to go bleed my brakes. I still have to do the other side of this thing. I gotta get work on my house. I gotta paint all the walls in there, so I don't know. The taco's really been on the back burner for a while. And I started my second YouTube channel, so I got a lot going on on there too. But I'm trying to get some stuff done. We're working here, eh? So yeah, let's get this done. Meow, meow. It's the next day. So you can see how good this looks with the floppy disk. I know you should take these off. You're supposed to. I might. I might not. Blow me. Okay? I might just glob it all and weld it and make it straight and perfect myself. But I don't know. I, I mean, they use air hammers, man, and they freaking pound these little old tabs right off. But I floppy disked it enough that I think it's kind of flat enough that I shouldn't have to worry. This guy just wants to get in the fucking way all the time. Look at him. He just wants some damn attention. Like, I'm not holding, like, food or anything behind the camera. This is just him, like, following me. Isn't it, Chris? Yeah. Look at him. I can go right here and watch. I bet you his ass will... Yeah, look. <laughs> you motherfucker. He's so funny. I love him, though. But anyways, 
I had gas wire, I know, remember that. So I just got fresh wire. Just set the welder up. Just set this up. So we are gonna see if it uh, properly welds now. You can see the popcorn effect from last night. Awkward. Awkward. I ended up just calling it a night. I didn't go anywhere. Fuck that shit. <sighs> Fuck the haters. So yeah, let's get to welding. 